Guys, if there is one unforgettable moment in the history of the women's 400 meters hurdles event, then it must be the 2019 season. This is when Delilah Muhammad completely shattered the previous longest standing record and smashed her own record on two occasions, ending the season with her very first world championship title. But it seems that was just the tip of the iceberg. In 2021, Muhammad approached the Tokyo Olympics with much strength to become the second fastest woman in the event after Sydney McLaughlin by winning. This incredible performance was not only a personal best but equally made her the greatest of all. In today's video, we'll take a look at how Delilah Muhammad became the greatest of all in the women's 400 meters hurdles. Be sure to watch this video till the end to never miss a point. Now, let's get started with the video. Olympic champion Dalaila Muhammad's star started shining at a very young age. Born and raised in Jamaica, Queens, Muhammad's talent was discovered by NY Nova's track club when she was four years old. And at the age of 17, Muhammad was very lucky to earn her first gold medal in the 400 meters hurdles at the 2007 World Youth Championships. This amazing performance earned her the title of the 2007 Gatorade Female Athlete of the Year for New York State. And due to her dedication and intense focus on the sport, she went on to earn a sports scholarship in 2008 to study business at the University of Southern California. At the college, she continued participating in track and field events under the USC Trojans team. In her freshman year, Muhammad was able to finish third place at the 2009 NCAA Championships, becoming her only best finish at the NCAA throughout her collegiate years. In the 2011 and 2012 NCAA, she could only manage to finish seventh and fifth place respectively, locking her out of the 2012 US Olympic team. And even though she missed making the US Olympic team, she still was a force to reckon with especially considering that by the time she was graduating in 2012, she was already the school's third fastest ever 400 meters hurdler and a four-time NCAA All-American. This encouraged her to train in the same group with Lashinda Damas, the 2011 World 400 meters hurdles champion and 2012 Olympic silver medalist. Although the training here was pretty compelling than what she was used to, she kept grinding and sharpening her mastery of the 400 meters hurdles. And true to that, the intense training worked miracles for her, enabling her to go pro and butter the 56 ceiling for the first time in her life during the 2013 Pasadena Games in California, where she completed in 55.97s. She continued lowering her lifetime best and by the end of that year, her lifetime best was at 53.83 seconds, enabling her to win the US Outdoor Track and Field Championships. She ended up earning her first national title in the 400 meters hurdles, with her time being recognized as the 12th best American time in history at that time. The same year she competed in the Moscow World Championships, where she won a silver medal in the 400 meters hurdles. Now, her amazing performance in 2013 positioned her as a potential star in the world of athletics. It's no wonder she was able to sign a deal with Nike towards the end of 2013. Sadly, for the next two years, she couldn't compete due to constant injuries which interfered with her training. This ended up costing her a spot in the 2015 World Championships. After recovering from the injuries, she moved to start training under Lawrence Johnson, a renowned hurdles coach. Johnson not only wanted her to win, but she wanted her to leave a legacy in the sport. He would encourage her to focus and put in her best to enable her to set record after record. And this inspired Muhammad to work extra hard. Indeed, her decision to train under coach Johnson must have been the biggest turning point in her career as a pro athlete. Soon the results started coming, and it was clear that her trajectory was beginning to change. Both Muhammad and her coach were happy. In 2016, she won the Olympic trials completing in 52.88 seconds making her the 13th best performer in the history of the 400 meter hurdles at that time. Later that year, she won the Olympic gold medal in Rio de Janeiro during the 2016 Summer Olympics, making her the first American woman in history to win the Olympic gold in the 400 meter hurdles. 
but she was not yet at her best, and so she kept grinding to improve her personal best in each event she participated in. The 2017 USA Championships ended up being the best race in the history of America. Delilah Muhammad not only won but improved her personal best to 52.64 seconds, making her number six all-time in the history of women's 400 meters hurdles in America. In the same year, she earned a silver medal at the 2017 London World Championships. The 2018 season was not good for Muhammad. With a season's best of 53.65 in the 400 meters hurdles, this was indeed not good considering that it was her slowest time since 2015. And so approaching the 2019 season, a coach didn't want her to repeat the same mistakes. He wanted her to go all in and deliver her best. After a long engagement over the phone, they all agreed that she must deliver the best ever performance. All Johnson wanted from Muhammad was the American record and world record, nothing less. And all that was only possible with the right training and perfect timing. Muhammad would end up spending the fall of 2018 focusing on strength and foundational work during long and arduous training days. She would engage in all kinds of workouts, be it strength, speed, or endurance, she did it all. Eventually, she was able to comfortably complete 800 meters in 2.06 minutes. As a keen student of the sport, she would study competitors and look for something to improve. She would even watch her own videos to see where she can improve. So when the 2019 season came, Muhammad was all ready to turn it into the most phenomenal season of her lifetime. And sure enough, she managed to pull unmatched feats in all the events she competed in. Early on in 2019, she proved her guts by improving her flat speed with personal best in the 200 meters and 400 meters dash. In 2019 USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships, she pulled all her strength sprinting from start to end with beautiful strides to win in a shocking 52.20 seconds. This was incredible, it was unheard of, and still, it remains a historical moment. Dalila Muhammad had just broken the women's 400-meter hurdles world record by setting a new record of 52.20 seconds, improving Yulia Pekomkina's 16-year-old record of 52.34 seconds that was set in 2003. It was a monumental moment for her, a coach, and he country, America. Since 2003, Americans had tried to come close to Pekomkina winning over 13 Olympic or World Championship medals in the event, but still, none of them had smashed the longest standing record until Dalila Muhammad. Muhammad was now in the momentum of winning. It didn't take long and in the same year, Muhammad went ahead to rewrite record books by setting a new world record with a time of 52.16 seconds to win a gold medal at the 2019 World Championships in Dover. This made her the only woman after Sally Gunnell, in the history of the 400 meters hurdles, to have won the Olympic title and broken the world record. Her impressive progress was however brought down by injuries and her battle with COVID which threatened her training. As a result in August 2021, she was snatched the world record title by Sydney McLaughlin, who took the win in the Tokyo Olympics. McLaughlin won gold with a new record time of 51.46 seconds, followed by Dalila Muhammad, who finished in 51.58, and Femke Bol of Netherlands, who crossed the finish line with a time of 52.03 seconds. This performance placed Muhammad as the second fastest woman in the event after McLaughlin. Moving into the 2022 season, Muhammad was still battling injuries. In fact, as the 2022 World Athletic Competitions neared, it was not clear whether or not she would participate because she was still recovering. She missed most of the trials and didn't participate in the 2022 US Track and Field Championships due to injuries. However, being a champion, she had a straight qualification to participate in the World Championships slated for July 2022 in Eugene, Oregon. She entered the World Championship Finals still at 70% recovery, but despite that, she managed to pull out in the third place with a time of 53.13 seconds. She was behind Femke Boll 
and reigning record holder Sidney McLaughlin, who finished in 52.27 and 50.68 seconds respectively. So, there you have it guys. As you can see, Dalila Mohammed is a Geo 8 in the athletic world. She has achieved an impressive feat that most athletes only dream about. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.